Welcome back to the channel. This is Jim from Bang Time Cool. I just demonstrated one of my favorite drills. I'm going to have a continuation of my speed series. Um, this is called the box drill for good reason. As you can see, I have a box and I use some tape which will peel off very nicely so that it won't leave any marks on the table or anything like that. But what I did is one diamond left and right of the side pockets in line with the one diamond. So it makes a nice little box center field type. Okay, so we call this uh, the box. Okay, that's why I call it the box drill. Very original, I'm sure. Okay, so what is the purpose of the drill? What are the rules of the drill? So what I'll do is, as you can see, I have four pieces of tape set up, which are one diamond, one diamond. It's the meeting point. We'll place a ball on each of those. Again, one diamond up, one diamond right, one diamond up, one diamond left. Okay. So there's our four balls. As you will notice when I started this, you will have one opportunity to place the ball wherever you want inside the box to start the drill. And that's what I did. The purpose of the drill and using the speed is to pocket the ball using one or two rails. So there's no straight draw. If I get straight on a the ball, there's no drawing it back, straight back into the box. Why? Because that was zero rails. So we have to use one or two rails in this drill. Cannot use three. Okay, so you did see me um, use some inside English, use two rails and come back into the box. Okay, so I, I tried to show you a one rail and a two rail shot. Okay, so what's the purpose of the game? The purpose of the game is to get as many, make as many balls consecutively as you can. Okay, that was four consecutive. Now, what we have to remember is we do have some rules here. Where the ball touches the table, that outside line, that's good if the ball would land there. Anything outside of that, no good. You're going to have to be a judge, but don't be too hard on yourself. If it's close, give it to yourself and live for another shot. Okay? If you miss, obviously, game over and you count up your total. Okay? Now, one thing we have to remember. On our last ball, I made one, two, and three. On my fourth ball, I still need to get inside of the box. And wherever that ball lays is where I start the next round. Okay, so all I would do is place the ball back on the spots, on all four spots, and I would continue on and make as many consecutive balls as I can. Now, what I want to see in the comments, I want people to tell me how many shots did you make in a row? Okay, again, one or two rails, you need to come back and be inside of this box after every shot, including the final ball. Okay, again, once you make the fourth ball, you pocketed four in a row, you simply replace them and start where that cue ball lays after you made your fourth shot in the previous set. Okay, so it's again, this is my box drill for good reason. Box in the middle of the table. Obviously, we know that playing to the middle of the table is always recommended, always a strong play, okay? Um, again, we're working on our speed of our cue ball, pocketing balls, using rails for position, one rail, two rails, and being specific with our positioning of the cue ball. So again, don't get frustrated with the drill if you're just a beginner, okay? Make as many as you can. And tomorrow, try it again, and try to beat that score. But again, please comment. I wanna know how we're doing. And um, please like the video. Please subscribe, tell your friends. Let's just keep building this channel. And um, 
let's keep working on the speed control. Okay, this is the second uh, video on speed control. I will have more, but uh, I have two drills. I like to have my drills competitive. Okay, I, I want you to be competitive with yourself. You'll see once you get 20 balls in a row, 30 balls in a row, you're going to strive to get 40 and 50 and 60 and so on. Okay, so be competitive with yourself. Make sure we're using a little bit of English. We may have to um, hold the cue ball a little bit. Use some inside English if we have this kind of angle. Okay, we may have to, if we're kind of straight, we may have to either follow with some inside and come two rails. We may have to use some outside English and come to this rail to here. Okay, so again, we're gonna have to use our knowledge of the game. We're gonna have to practice using a little bit of English. And, and the biggest thing is once you commit to a shot, get down and stroke it, okay? Believe in what you see. And that's a big thing in this game. You know, I've seen a lot of people get down here and all of a sudden, uh, I'm not using enough English and they will adjust English from here. They end up missing this ball, so it really doesn't matter where your cue ball goes. So have a commitment, get down, see it, and stroke it, okay? Again, see how many we can do. I really appreciate the support and um, let's see how many we can make. I appreciate you tuning in and have a good one.